Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my 1 to 99 fishing guide. I've jam-packed this video with so much info, you know, covering minnow fishing, lava eels, dark crabs, uh, the fishing trawler, which you'll actually need to do to get this outfit for some increased fishing XP. So let's get right into it. And I also just posted every single 1 to 99 guide for 2018. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure you check out every other 99 I have posted. And I'm also doing a huge giveaway with every single video, roughly 10 mil per video. So it's 200 mil total. If you guys do want to enter the giveaway, make sure you comment your RSN and uh, keep your private on so I can message you if you have one. Be subscribed if you're not and like the video it means a lot, boys. So let's get right into it. Hope you enjoy. So first off, covering the quest list, I would highly suggest doing fishing contest. It's only a level 10 fishing. It's going to take you literally two minutes, help like a vampire or something. It's very easy. I would also do rum deal. It's at 50 fishing. And of course, you want to do Fremenic trials for that berserker helmet. And, uh, you know, there's some good quests on here. I see sea slug menace as well. well I guess it's sea slug. And then the next quest is Sea Slug Menace, but you actually unlock the Prosite armor, which is that white gold armor you see people using for um, Slayer. It gives a really good prayer bonus, so yeah, I would highly suggest doing that. And we can see at the bottom the quest Swan Song giving 10,000 XP, although you will need a good amount of requirements, but this quest actually grants you access to Fish Monkfish, which is one of the best fish in the game, and I'll show you guys later on in the video, so let's get right into it. I do want to cover the bonus increases real quick. There's actually the full angler outfit, which I'll show you in just a second how to get. There's a dragon harpoon, which is 20% faster than any other harpoon. And uh, yeah, it gives you a three level boost with the special attack, kind of like the dragon pickaxe. And if you guys do happen to fish in the fishing guild, you'll get an invisible level seven boost, which is definitely going to help whether you notice it or not. If you're actually trying to get 99 fishing and you know you're serious about it, I would recommend getting a smoldering stone. They're about 1.8 mil and you want to attach it to your dragon harpoon. It actually has a one third chance to incinerate your fish, which of course, you know, gives you the cooking XP. So if you're trying to get 99 cooking as well, this is a big bonus. All right, so getting this outfit is going to take about two to six hours, could even be more, could be less, depending on how lucky you get. But you'll actually need, you know, the top the uh the legs the boots and the hat it gives you a 2.5 percent fishing bonus xp wise for every fish you catch to get this set you'll actually have to do the mini game called fishing trawler you could go to your mini game like uh next to the quest list little thingy and teleport that way or you could actually go to port kazard somehow and yeah you just wait around for 12 minutes and once everyone shows up if you're in the right world of course trust me you'll know you're going to want to bring a bailing bucket. I'm not sure if you can buy it from the GE, but you actually buy it from the general store just north of this little bank area. And you can actually buy, you know, swamp tar or swamp paste. My bad, it is definitely paste. You can buy that from the GE as well. They're about 120 each, I do believe. And you're going to use about 40 each game, probably maybe 50. I'm not sure. But yeah, all you do, you just sit here and uh, I don't even know. You guys watch a movie, have a wank. I'm not sure what you what you're really going to do. You basically just AFK and spam click for 12 minutes and keep your activity bar in the green. After this is finished, you'll actually click on the net and you could have a chance to get the angler outfit or you're just going to get a whole bunch of sea turtles and manta rays, all that good stuff, which you could sell for some awesome profit. Now, maybe some of you guys are just coming back to OSRs or, you know, RuneScape in general, but they've actually added like 50 plus pets, mainly bossing, you know, PVM type of pets, but there is a couple skilling pets. And of course, fishing has one, which is the Heron. And I was lucky enough to get it while catching monkfish. And I'm not even 99 yet. I'm very close, but I think I got it when I was like 89 fishing and you're actually predicted to not get a pet all the way to 99. Like it's post 99 is that rare. Well, we can see it's uh, 138,000 for monkfish and yeah you can just skim the chart some of these things are insane some of the numbers yeah all right so if you didn't happen to do any of those quests you're actually going to be wanting to start it off at the shrimp 1 to 20. you could just do this uh you know south of lumbridge or you could actually go to Draenor village this should only take you about 15 20 minutes and you will unlock anchovies at level 15 as well which uh, will speed up the process just a bit you could even light a fire and you know start start cooking your shrimp 
So at level 20, you're going to want to head over and find a fly fishing spot. There's one on Lumbridge, Barbarian Village, Gnome. There, there's quite a bit of places. Also, you can go to Shiloh Village if um, you, know, you don't like the scenery around here. I'm not sure. Once you unlock Salmon at level 30, your XP is definitely going to spike up. You're going to be looking about 25 to 35k XP an hour below 70. And uh, you, of course, you're going to get higher after 70, but I would not recommend this after level 70, although a good amount of people just keep doing this, but definitely the other methods I'm about to show you are much better. At level 45, you could catch lobsters until level 70, and uh, raw lobsters are only, what, 130 each nowadays? They used to be, you know, 250, so it's not too much gold. You're going to make about 2 million gold from 40 to 70. You might as well do something like salmon, which will be much better XP, and then you can actually move on to sharks or monkfish and make much more gold than lobsters. Alright, so one of the best methods in the game by far, catching the leaping salmon and sturgeon, and uh, trout, I do believe as well, at the barbarian outpost. This can be found on the game's necklace, you just you know teleport to Barbarian Outpost and you run directly south. You will actually have to complete a quick mini game, which will take you about 15 minutes. I guess it's a mini quest. You'll actually want to talk to the you know lead barbarian in his house. After completing the mini quest, he'll actually give you a barbarian fishing rod, which you can then you know um, fish at the fishing spots that you've just unlocked. It's roughly 30k to 45k XP an hour below 70, and you could be getting about 60k XP an hour after level 70. But what makes this method so good is that you actually get strength and agility XP along with the fishing XP. It's only a small percentage, like if you got like a 70 XP drop, it'd be a 12-12. What is it? You get 72 strength and 72 agility if you were to get 99 fishing here. So it's like, it's roughly like 1 12th or something. Now moving on to Monkfish, this is like the best of both worlds, a little bit of AFK, a little bit of gold, a little bit of XP, it's just right in the middle of everything. I've actually gotten from like what 75 all the way to 97 fishing, I'm almost 98, I do a lot of you know video AFK editing there, and yeah it's 100k gold an hour, about 30 to 40k XP. You will have to do the Swan Song quest as well though, which takes you 30 minutes and you get some uh, good fishing XP from that as well. Now to get to Piscorilius where the monkfish actually are, it's um it's quite a bit of a trek. So what you want to do, well you could actually unlock the diaries and unlock the banner, which gives you a free daily teleport, but I mean that's only going to go so far. I mean if you have to go to the GE or maybe do a farm run, it's done for. So you could get there by fairy rings or just buy a Piscorilius teleport. They're only like 5 to 6k, very cheap. I use them all the time, probably like 10 a day if I'm uh, you know doing some hardcore fishing. Coming up at 85, we're going to be fishing sharks, and I will be covering minnows. Now, this is a pretty controversial topic. Like, are you guys just going to go to the fishing guild, use a harpoon? Are you going to bare hand catch? I think you actually get a little bit of strength XP, you know, using that barbarian fishing method I just uh, told you about that you do unlock after that mini game. Or, are you guys going to catch the new minnows, which just came out? You actually are going to be trading your minnows for sharks. So if you were to normally catch sharks, it's about 15k XP an hour. It's so slow if anyone's, you know, ever caught them. But if you do do minnows, it's about 40k XP an hour and roughly 500 sharks an hour plus 300k plus gold an hour. And yeah, basically it's the most AFK method or the highest attention rate because the minnows change every like five seconds. And yeah, it's I believe it's 20 minnows per every one shark. So if I caught, you know, 20,000 minnows, that's 1,000 sharks. So that was the main chunk of the basic, you know, fishing methods that most people do. But I do want to cover the unique fishing methods. There's, you know, Cromons, of course, which is roughly 500k gold an hour. Although it's not as good as I was just making this video within the last week or two. Cromons are just crashing so hard. But it is still pretty good XP. I would definitely check out a separate guide if you are curious. But next up at the Infernal Eels, these things are pretty cool. 35k gold an hour, only 320k. And of course, these are found just below the Karamja Volcano you will actually need to sacrifice a fire cape to get inside this area and I would say you could actually get more gold than 320k if you're lucky because you can actually use a hammer on the eels and you get onyx bolt tips a whole bunch of gems and tokel and with the tokel you could actually eventually buy an armor piece like an obsidian plate body or something like that which is 1 million gold there's also sacred eels at level 87 which is 22k xp an hour and roughly 24 cooking xp an hour you get you know half and half and it's 185k GP an hour, although scales are just skyrocketing, so it could be about 250k. But you will need the Regicide quest, which is uh, it's a pretty hard quest. This is where you actually kill Zolra. It's literally 10 squares from the dock. 
Next up at level 85 in the wilderness dark crabs, you're gonna have to venture all the way to the wilderness resource area. It's 54, you know, wildy. And uh, yeah, you're gonna have to bring probably a Serp Helm, Black Dehyde. I like to bring a ZGS, so if anyone tries to attack me, I can just freeze them and stand under and log out. Roughly 42k XP an hour and 380k gold. But if you do um, do the Wildy Elite Diary, you know, you're getting so much more XP and gold. And if you don't have that, you can still catch them. It's just not as good. And don't forget, guys, I actually posted every single 1 to 99 video. And I covered this resource area very well in the Smithing Guide and, you know, a few other ones. So check them out. Now, one more fish I actually don't have the requirements to catch. You need 100% on Zaya. But shout out to Michael RS, man. This guy has done multiple, like, um... How should I say it? 10 account videos at once where he's catching fish, he's doing this, killing things. And this guy went hard on 9 accounts with 90 fishing for 1 hour. And we can see Michael made about 1.7 mil in an hour. But of course he was using 9 accounts. So that's only like 200k. It shows fishing should be better, man. You know, you go kill green dragons, 700k an hour. You go boss, it's 2 mil. I do wish skilling was a bit better. Another method I actually found after completing this video is Dragon Harpoon, 2 tick sword fishing, and this guy's getting 123k fishing XP an hour. J just watch this man, it's insane. People are getting so good at RuneScape in 2018, although he does have a max cape, so, you know, I can't blame him. But yeah guys, there it is, the 1 to 99 fishing guide. Hopefully you did enjoy, you found it informative, definitely check out my other 99 guides. And if you do want to support the channel, check out Sears Village. This website's going to get, you know, a full redone uh, revamp within the week. So check it out, guys. Have a good one. See ya.